Welcome back everybody, this is Josh with you. We're going to do another Cold Steel Knife review. This is going to be the Outdoorsman Lite. The Outdoorsman Lite is an inexpensive version of their very, very popular Outdoorsman. Um, it's smaller, lighter, and made of a more inexpensive material. This is, I believe, 4166 Krupp. Uh, 4116, sorry. It sounds very similar. It has a six inch blade, which just looks ludicrously sharp, which I'm sure it is. It has a much smaller, but still plenty functional looking bone breaker on the top here for using it kind of in a uh, sharpened shattering motion. And it's got the thumb grip on the top for when you're all wet or uh, if you're wearing gloves, you can get a really good positive grip. Uh, feels like Kraton handle, which is kind of surprising for an inexpensive knife, and it's quite obviously full tang, as it has a little tiny protrusion there on the end. Uh, these are made in Taiwan, so they're some of the inexpensive cold steel knives, not made in America or in uh, China. I mean, yeah, well, they're not made in China. Some of them are made in China. South Africa, I think it is, and some of the other good ones are made in Japan, but this Again, is inexpensive, so made in Taiwan. Um, I guess we'll do a cut test. See if this thing is half as sharp as it looks. Oh my God! <laughs> it might be sharper than the other one. This is ridiculous. Point test. bone breaker isn't very sharp and the part where your thumb is supposed to go is not very sharp either so you could safely use the top part of this blade for pushing down and you can safely use the thumb part for better grip um, it does have a little tiny one finger well almost one finger pommel uh, hilt and being that protrudes we could call that a pommel on the end, but I wouldn't recommend that because it's too small to really do much of anything. So, six inch blade, they say it weighs 3.7 ounces. Let's go ahead and weigh it, then we'll measure it, and we'll give you a final uh, 5.217. They say it's 5.7. Looks like it comes in lighter than it's supposed to. I don't think anybody would ever complain about that, especially the obvious quality of it. The finish isn't perfect, but it's very good. Um, let's go ahead and measure it and see if it measures the six inch blade. blade is almost six inches. The usable portion of the blade is just over five and it's almost five and three quarter inches. So it is a very, very, very good design. Um, has a nasty edge. It's slightly upcurved. It would make an excellent hunting knife, outdoors knife. Um, the Kraton handle, it'll make a grip in your hand, so if you're gutting something or whatever, if you're out in the rain, um, it won't just slip out of your hand. Plus, you got that one finger hilt and the thumb catch on the top and the bone breaker. Um, let's check out the sheath. It has the same inexpensive sheath as the Tonto Lite, which we don't whine about because the only thing that matters is, one, that it works, and two, that it's safe. Um, it feels like it's pretty well made. It's Cordura, so it's going to be durable. It has a decent sized belt loop that will go on um, civilian or military style belts. Uh, it looks fine. It looks safe. The blade's probably not going to come through there unless you're really, really, really stupid. And in that case, well, population control. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it looks like it does everything it's supposed to do. It is possibly sharper or at least a better cutting um, angle for me 
than the Tonto Light was, which makes this an easy 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10. It's pretty damned amazing. Um, I'm going to put it back in the cardboard. And that's all we got for you today, guys. Um, check out some of our other reviews if you like this one. Thanks. Bye. Oh, this is uh, about a $30 knife.